Good evening, dear friend. How are you and your family and friends? I'm Elder Dr. Prosper Tetido from the United Kingdom. Shall we pray and reflect on communion? As in Acts chapter 20, verse 7. Lord, bind us together as members of your church in a way that the devil cannot succeed in bringing any form of division as we take communion together, O oh Lord, may our commitments to living out the benefits and commitments of the new covenant grow stronger and deeper. As we remember your great sacrifice on the cross, Lord Jesus, help us to lay down our lives for you as living sacrifices, we pray. As we remember your shed blood, Lord Jesus, may we learn to live and minister under the power of your blood. Oh Lord, send revival in our prisons. Amen. We continue with today's message. Captioned, are you doing it for the right reasons? That's the question. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. He had this testimony that he pleased God. When you grow up with rejection, it can manifest itself in a need to isolate and withdraw or in a drive to constantly prove yourself. One man said it like this, I can still hear my father yelling, telling me I'd never be any good, never amount to anything. The more he yelled, the more determined I became to prove him wrong. Are there wrong voices speaking to you? If they are, read on. The Bible says, Enoch had this testimony that he pleased God. How? By faith, as in verse 5. God sees you differently from how your parents or peers do. Their acceptance is often based on your performance, whereas God's acceptance is based on your position. Paul writes, God made him who had no sin to be seen for us, that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God sees us wrapped in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are always acceptable. That doesn't mean you don't work hard. It means working for the right reasons. Instead of striving for God's approval, you serve him out of gratitude. Once you know that your identity and worth aren't tied to the car you drive, the home you live in, how much you earn, or the people you mix with, it changes your motivation. Instead of being concerned about the neighborhood you live in, you become concerned about your neighbors. Instead of focusing on how much money you make, your focus becomes financing God's kingdom. Instead of worrying about your job title, your goal becomes performing with excellence and integrity. In other words, Instead of just working hard, you are doing it for the right reason. Thank you, dear friend. And God bless you, even as you put this message into practice. Amen. <laughs>